species B population is the straw that stirs the drink when it comes to the province's biodiversity. Kerry Clark has been a beekeeper for roughly 50 years and says it's no surprise they have such a solid reputation. Everybody likes bees and, and for a good reason. Uh, although the honey is great, uh, the value of the pollination is at least tenfold what the value of the honey is. However, it can be alarming when bees are found in your home. Clark says it's important to remain calm and not make any rash decisions. They don't come after picnics or anything like that. They're not, they're not interested in your food. They're not interested in hurting anybody. They, uh, they'll just, uh, they, they, they go to their flowers. Many species of bumblebees are considered at risk or even endangered, and experts advise people to leave them alone if possible. Elise Watson, founder of Apiaries and Bees for Communities, says it's important to identify which type of bees you're dealing with before trying to get rid of them. When you identify a nest as being a bumblebee population, is knowing that the nest is only annual. So their nest will never exceed larger than the palm of your hand or your two hands cut together, and they will not cause any infrastructural damage to your property. The best way to avoid future issues is by plugging up the hole where they were living when they eventually leave. You won't be killing daughter queens or a nest internally, but you will be inhibiting them nesting there again next year. Unlike bumblebees, honeybees can be a large issue. If you're noticing multiple bees coming in and out of the nest every minute, it's a good indication they're honeybees. At that point, the best course of action would be to contact an expert to come and remove the nest. Austin Lee, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.